So I'd like to show you around Agua Caliente. It's a campground. Um, it's actually Agua Caliente Hot Springs Campground. And it's in the San Diego County. Katie's gonna come in a little bit and she's gonna have hookups for her RV here. So let's go on a little bike ride. I'll give you a little tour of the um, grounds here. Well, I can show you right here first. So that building there, that's an indoor hot spring. And then right next to it, there's another pool. It's an outdoor pool. And the hot springs are included in your admission price. I'll come around here and I'll show you some of the sites and what different things they have here. So right by us, right there, there's a creek. And there's frogs. And the frogs talk all night long. So if you like frogs, sites in the 30s would be perfect for you. A lot of people left because um, they just come for the weekend. But we're staying a couple extra days. So let's head on out to the street over here. So that's where we came from and just up here they have like shuffleboard. I have no idea how to play shuffleboard so let's move on. Up in there, there's a trail. So and there's a trail map that they give you when you first come in. There's a lot of different trails here. Now here, right around the corner from us, where we are in 30, there is um, bathrooms and showers. They can accommodate pretty much anybody. And it's pretty inexpensive. Right around the $30-ish mark, 25, 30, 35, in that range there. But all the campsites have tables, they have fire pits, some of them have electric. So it's kind of mixed and some it's just tent, but even the tent sites have a table and a fire pit from what I could see. So we go down the one way road, they have cabins that you can rent as well. I don't know the pricing on the cabins, but they seem pretty nice. And we're gonna actually head down there we're going to go to the group area. In the group area, you can have 10 vehicles. I'm um, not sure how many people total. You know, most people will be like with families and things like that. So you might have, I don't know, 30 or 40 people, but only 10 vehicles. So I'm not sure. But that would be... A nice thing to do sometimes is just to actually get a group site because I do believe they're cheaper to get a group site than they are for individual sites if we were to do a meetup or a retreat here. Give you a closer look here. Sorry about the wind. Looks like there's a big fire pit there. And a nice pavilion. Looks like maybe horseshoes or something back in there. I think it's really nice. And then they have a dump station right here. A lot of the RVs it looks like are up in this area in here. I don't know whether they have long-term RV parking or not, but it just seems to me that a lot of the RVs are up in here. And this is the tent site area here. A little closer together, not quite as much privacy. I don't know, I think they're pretty nice though. And then they have what's day use parking. So you can pay, I think it's around $3 to use the hot springs. And then you can park right in here. Here. 
Hey Katie. From Doofus Adventures and we're gonna go on a hike. We're gonna share this campsite, but she's too big. So we couldn't do that. What are you doing, Katie? Well, let's go check out this cabin. <laughs> How does it have to rent? Look at, you can peek in. Okay. Oh, let's go in. Oh! <laughs> are you serious? Only Katie. Oh, this is pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, it's a nice smell. I guess you have to bring your own mattress. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think? No, wait. Do you think that if they rent this, they would put a mattress? Yeah, come on. They're not going to let you sleep on that like that. Well, they have just making ourselves at home here. What's in there? No shower. I think that they would put a mattress, no? I think so. Really? Huh. It's pretty nice. Let's go ask and see how much they are. And also, if they have a mattress. Huh? If Ann was here, she'd be climbing that mountain there. Oh, for sure. At 5 o'clock in the morning. But Elaine and I won't. No. We're going we're gonna go down to the what is it, moonlight or something? Trail which is really flat. <laughs> I didn't notice this yesterday, but they have solar on all of these cabins on the roof. That's kinda cool. Katie, where are you going? You're going the wrong way. Oh yeah, right. Over the mountain. Okay. <laughs> There she goes out into wild blue yonder. <laughs> well, it says it's 1.6 miles. All right, first little hill. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's make let's pass the time better. Let's sing something. What do you got? Okay, like what? Said a thousand legged worm as it gave a little squirm. <laughs> Has anybody seen a leg of mine? Okay. If it can't be found, I'll have to hop around on the other 999. <laughs> hop around. Hop around. Hop around. If it can't be found, I'll have to hop around on the other 999. <laughs> see how? See how that made that uh, pill go much, much faster. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Doing good. good. Oh, yeah. We're almost at the top! Yay! You have to do one that I know too, like a popular one. What do you got? Row, row, row. <laughs> now we are not in water. Eldery, Eldery, Eldera. So this is what I hate about these kind of trails. Which way do you go? Do you go that way? Or do you go that way? This way we'll go back to our campsite. Yeah, but which way is the 1.6 miles? I don't know. I mean, this looks like the main one to me. And that looks like a but maybe one. Yeah. So you think this way? Okay. So can you put a arrow the way that we're going so we don't get lost? <laughs> Okay, now she blocked this off that we didn't go that way. Oh my god. <laughs> you are a crack up, Katie. What kind of tree did you say this was? Do you remember? It's not a yucca. It's, it's not a yucca. It's pretty. It's different, huh? Look at all the green on it right Yeah, now. a lot of green. Look how spiky it is. Very spiky. Yeah. Very spiky. Huh. Very pretty though. What is it? Uh -oh. Witch hazel? Witch witches. Hazel. Witches or witches? It's probably witch hazel. Witch hazel. But it's uh, like a parasite. Like oh. Okay, Miss Smarty Pants. Which one's that? This one here? Mm hmm. It's called the Choya. C H O L L. Okay. 
I'm doing it yesterday. Yeah. And I'm still trying to wreck my brain. For that one, yeah. I do this too. I'll like start going somewhere and then I'll like pull over and I'll just like stop and stuff and it drives people nuts if I'm going hiking with them. But you know what? It kind of gives you a little bit of a break. Yeah, I like doing that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. So you're the perfect person for me to go hiking with, Katie. <laughs> Look how far we went. Are we about halfway? Oh, those pretty flowers. I like the little pink ones. So you remember that name of that plant then, huh? Acatillo, because we're in Acatillo area. That's the name of this area. So oh, okay. Nice. I knew it was something I shouldn't have. Yeah. Katie, look! Arby's! We're almost there! Yeah. Are you serious? You want to go that way? Uh, I'll, go ahead, I'll meet you on the other side. <laughs> Are you serious? You're going to go that way? Okay, if you don't come back, then you know. Arby's open, the keys are on Katie's. Hasta la vista, baby! So I'm just about back here and I do not see Katie anywhere. I don't see any trail coming back down. Oh, there she is! How are you going to get down? Oh my gosh. Okay. Slide down the hill. I think she's going to have to go all the way back. Well, it's not that far, I guess, but I'm going to come all the way back up. Ugh, glad I didn't go. I think I'll just sit on this little rock and wait for her. Wow, there's Katie. She has a story. Oh, let's hear her story. She's coming out the other way. Wow, glad I waited for her. You had an adventure? What's your adventure? Nobody where I knew where I was, but there you go. Well, I waited for you. So where did you see me last? On that little circle yeah. back right there? Yeah, way up there. So I was going to say, you know, you could probably slide down. <laughs> I could have, considered what I did slide down, that probably would probably have been a better option. Uh-oh. Yeah, so I, I went from the saddleback yeah. around the back of that, and I thought, well, I'll go around this hill, okay. taking the, the trail back to the shuffleboard court. Oh, right did you see it? No. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I ended up going down a creek bed that I had to put my, I thought, well, I'll throw my pa my poles down there and I'll slide on my butt down this rock face. So I came down there. And you did I, slide down your butt? Seriously? I did slide down on my butt. <laughs> <It was that's laughs> <deep>. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came out at this little creek bed just uh -huh. past the barbecue. So. Okay. Then I had to climb through the creek bed and down some waterfalls. So did you see bees and stuff? Uh -uh. No bees out there? So you went all the way to the creek then, but a different way. Yeah, but there's no water in the creek, and there was, there's some really pretty looking. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. That was probably nice. Back in the well, day. adventurous. Doofus, <laughs> Doofus Adventures Yay! went on an adventure. And then I came back to the barbecue pits. It's, you know, that's yeah. Did, you know, could you see it, though, from up there? So you didn't no, know that I didn't you were. Know where I was. Wow. Well, I kind of, I had a general vicinity. I knew I was heading towards that water tower. Over yeah. There. Oh, okay. Yeah, the water but tower is like a good, good right one. on the back side of, of that little hill there. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I saw footprints, so I knew it wasn't too... <laughs> and good anybody who does some serious hiking, and probably go, oh, psh, come on. I know, I know. Well, well you know. <laughs> we'll get there. Yeah. yeah. But the trail going up that hill was like about... Maybe a foot wide, right on this side Ooh. of the hill. I went, nah, I don't want to do that. So I, yeah, I climbed down my butt instead. I thought maybe you would turn around. No, well, I knew I could turn around. I knew where I was. So I could yeah. Turn around if I needed to, but... oh. I'll work out. Good for you. Right. So there you have it. I think it's a great campground. It's about an hour from Julian, and um, Julian has the Julian Pie Company. It's 
in the Borrego Springs area. I hope to have a meet up here at uh, some point and I'll see you on the road.